All right, what's up, guys? Uh, I, uh, I'm on my way to a shop here, and it's a really beautiful day out. And I don't know, I just figured I would try and film a little bit, and I feel like I don't show the other side of the hunt too much uh, out here uh, in the new car. I just I love driving this thing so much. So probably do a video on it at some point but uh 2020 gt premium it's it, i can't tell you how much fun this thing is but gorgeous day out man it's got to be like man maybe like 68 out or something like that just gorgeous out here i wish i had a little bit better view for you guys but stopped off to get some gas and uh figured i'd film a little bit so yeah, I'll try to maybe film some footage in the shop or something like that, but hopefully I'll see if I can maybe add a little bit more content like this to my hauls, maybe make them a little bit more interesting so you can see the backstory. The uh, shop's about an hour away from me. Uh, I drove about 20, 25 minutes, so I got a decent ways to go, but I in this thing, honestly, the drive is fun to me too at this point, so uh, yeah, but I will see you guys oh also actually let me start this up too it'll be fun uh this shop is really on the dl like i actually haven't been here in like years and it's be hit or miss store that's for sure uh try to open my window so you can maybe hear this a little better but yeah. All right, I'll see you guys when I see you. Beautiful area. Wish more shops were in places like this. Nice little old school downtown. Enjoy just driving around places like this. I don't really care if I find anything. All right. This tripod never seems to want to behave for me, but this camera angle will have to do. It'll have to do. So I went out to this shop and I tried to shoot a little bit of uh, video footage beforehand to show the experience a little bit. And man, really, really did well at this shop. Um, I have not been to this store in, gosh, years, honestly, it, it has to be, um, I would say at least two years since I've been to this shop. Now, I'll see this guy at shows and things like that occasionally. Um, this shop is probably the one store, it's not in my area. Um, it's about an hour away from me, uh, yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. And I would say if I had to pin down one shop, like in driving distance from where I live that people don't go to, I would say it's this store by far, by far. Okay. Um, now I don't think I'm gonna go back to this store for at least another year because this guy he doesn't really restock is the thing um and this shop's kind of hard to explain I don't really like filming in stores and stuff like that but I really wish I could have shown the interior of it um it's really like I mean, you guys saw the area where it was, but it's really in like a more rural type area. And um, the guy, I know he, his main thing is sports cars. He has a ton of comics, don't get me wrong. Um, but I know he's not like quite as up on them. And it's just really, like there's some level of organization to some of the things but it's basically just like 
everything is thrown in there. Um, I would say probably about 80% of the stuff isn't priced and he'll get you a price. Um, and, and I don't know, man, like this guy, I've definitely heard stories of this guy checking eBay on people, but me and him are pretty cool. And he usually just says, hey man, give me, you know, however much. Um, and, uh, this is what happened here. Yeah, he just, uh, I, I can't even really remember exactly what I paid for these, but I can definitely give you a rough estimate. I can tell you, um, I get a very, very good deal on all these books, okay? Very good deal. I know I've been rambling here for a minute, but I really like to set the stage in my videos. Uh, I can show you what I picked up and, you know, what I paid, but uh, the experience, I feel, is also, uh, it's, it's fun to know um, what not. I guess just entertainment value and whatever, but. Uh, so I go there, I dug around this whole place. Uh, it took me quite a while. And um, like I said, this is it's really a shop where like stuff that's really had some heat on it, it's probably like buried in the long boxes. I was. Uh, I know Star Wars stuff is just going ballistic right now, and I'll talk about that more here in a second. I was really, really hoping I was going to find a Clone Wars 1. I did not find a Clone Wars 1, but I, uh, I came close. Kind of, kind of close. Um... Also, I'll be real honest with you, and I hate admitting this, there were probably some Star Wars books at this shop that were worth some good money, and I just didn't know about them. I'm not up on, you know, it's like every Star Wars book every week is now like $100, and I, I can't keep up with it. And especially when it's not real well organized, and I don't know what I'm looking at, but I got what I got. Um, case in point, Star Wars Episode One, uh, number three. This is the uh, more popular of the covers. Awesome cover, man. I love this cover. Darth Maul is my favorite Star Wars character, okay? Um, and again, I will talk about this more in a second. There are, I like Star Wars, but in terms of like collecting at this point, I'm out. I'm I'm not even going remotely, remotely near it. If I find them cheap, it is what it is, but I'm not even going remotely near it, okay? And this book, one of the few books I really, really wanted to own. It's his first cover appearance that people really, I don't know what the deal is with this, um, I think this is one of those things where people care so much about the cover, they don't really care about the interior, because from what I understand, this isn't really his first appearance, but people seem to like to credit it as his first appearance, but real big Darth Maul fan. Um, people seem to want to hate on episode one. I love Star Wars episode one. I saw it in theaters. I had a great time. I mean, I think people really like to dislike movies for whatever reason and hate on them. I mean, I had fun, I enjoyed it, and I was entertained and it had cool characters. I don't really care that it aggravated some like diehard Star Wars fans who saw that in theaters when it came out. So there's my little rant on that. But um, I got this. Guess how much I paid for this. Now, this book is kind of all over the place in price. I was just looking it up. This book has gone for $125, give or take a little bit. Um, it definitely can go for lower than that, definitely. Like, I, 
I've seen it, I think when I picked it up, this was only really like a $30 book. And now all this news with these Star Wars shows, I mean, this stuff's just exploded even more than it already had. Four bucks. I got this for actually, no, I paid three dollars for this. Not like it matters. We got this for three dollars. Got a hundred and twenty-five dollar book of my favorite Star Wars character. Got it for three bucks. Found it no bag and board. Nice near mint condition. Got myself a stealth bot. I didn't. I forgot to mention it. Um, like I said, I did really, really well at this store. I feel like a lot of my hauls recently have been me getting like, you know, I'll get an expensive book for less than what it goes for, but it's not like, uh, you know, let me try to get an example here. Like I'll get, uh, what do we got? What do we got? I gotta have something around here. Uh, yeah, the heck with it. You know what I mean? Like I'll get a key issue for maybe like, 25% less or a nice grade, but this is just like stealth wise. I mean, this reminds me of when I first started my channel and I would just get like stealth buys left and right and you could find whatever out there. This reminds me of that. $3, also got the whole set. Very happy to have that. Um, number four, throw them all on the cover. I believe there are alternate covers to all of these. And I should have really um, tried to see if he had the others, but it's okay. I believe Darth Maul first appears in the first issue, though. I would definitely say, um, if you can't find this, I would definitely um, try to grab the other issues in the series. But, yeah, really, really stoked about this. And just awesome cover. Okay, so that alone, honestly, that was worth going out there, but... You already know I found more than that, so. Now this is kind of an example of how off the beaten path this store is. Um, Invincible Iron Man 118. Like I literally just found this chilling in his back issue bin, like where it's supposed to be with no price on it. And like, that's just kind of the kind of how it goes it, like I'll, I'll show some books in here and you'll be like you know not that it's that crazy but like really somebody left that in a back issue bin yeah um like that's kind of I, I just don't think a lot of people that go there really know all that much about comics and I think he just kind of puts the books out uh, but yeah, I found this in there. Not a crazy expensive book. I've always liked this book though. I think it should be worth a little more. And I think I paid like $3 for it. So I, I don't really know what the book sells for off the top of my head, but uh, man, another book. I have this book, but all day I'll buy it if I find them cheap enough. Cyblade Shy, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is the special preview teaser, a first appearance of Witchblade. Um, if you don't know, this is the hardest to come across. There's like four or five of these. This book used to sell for a lot, and it really doesn't anymore, which is weird. But yeah, um, I got it for like 10 bucks. I'll buy this book all day, every single solitary day for $10, so... Um, and this is a book I've really, really been looking for. And this is a ultra high grade copy. Warp number five. Not really kind of sort of first appearance of Grimjack. Uh, this and Star Slayer 10 are claimed. I believe Star Slayer is the more popular. Uh, but I was looking for this and I think I paid a dollar for this and I don't know what it goes for to be honest with you but um, I think a lot of people find this book and I just really have had a hard time finding it so I, I was happy to finally pick it up. Was at a shop probably a year and a half ago and they like looked this book up on eBay when I found it. So 
so I'm happy to get that. If I had to ballpark it, maybe 20 bucks. But another book that you're gonna be like, really? Yep, like just chilling out in a back issue bin, Avengers 195. I believe I just found this in a bag, just sitting out there. Like I said, that's kind of the, um, I don't know if you've ever been to a shop like that, but you know, you can just tell that, you know, he they just kind of put stuff out and not a lot of people really go in there that know what they're doing. So first cameo of Taskmaster, it's in decent grade. Um, I don't know what the book is selling for at the moment. I would guess, um, easy $20 book. I paid like $30 for it, so definitely pick that up. Green Lantern 48, first appearance of Kyle Rayner. I've always liked this character. I've explained that story many a time. And yeah, I believe I paid it dollar for this and this is in like really really high grade i threw it on my light because i think i'm gonna throw this in the grading pile for my next submissions uh, i don't know 15 dollar book something like that and then just grab this for fun pinky in the brain and it's a 23 it's a jaws homage and it's a new stand I love this cartoon as a kid. This was one of my absolute, absolute favorite cartoons. And I remember uh, where I lived, we didn't, we only got like 10 TV channels. And uh, my parents would rent me videos from Blockbuster. And I think they only had like a couple Pinky and the Brain videos, but I had seen those like 20 times. And uh, I really would love to purchase uh, the series digitally and give it a watch at some point. Justice League number one, I believe first appearance of Maxwell Lord. I'm not really up on what the book's going for. Probably, I don't know, $15. I paid a couple of bucks for it. Superman Batman 23 uh, I'm not even gonna get into it but Batman Beyond appears in this book uh, let's call it his first appearance for all intents and purposes and I paid a couple of dollars for it I they didn't have the other issue that goes with this I just grabbed this one Thunderbolts 1 Prelude this book used to be really expensive uh, this used to be like a $15, not $15, $50 book, and it really doesn't go for anything anymore, but, uh, I mean, maybe like 10 or 15 but I paid a few dollars for it, and this reprints the first appearance of the Thunderbolts in Hulk 449. If you see this book, though, definitely buy it. It's definitely worth buying for a couple of bucks or however much have you seen it been so batman mask of the phantasm i thought that book went for something and it really doesn't anymore but oh well cool enough amazing spider-man 5 at 64 first appearance of jackpot are they gonna do a jackpot movie because that sounds like a terrible idea I really I don't know anymore I had this book and I um, uh, I gotten rid of it a while ago and I was aggravated because the book heated up um, <laughs> just funny story there's a shop and I guarantee they don't have them anymore but um, they, they once in a while they'll do like a quarter sale or like a dime sale and all their back issues are like a quarter. And they had like a short box of these, honestly. I'm sure somebody grabbed them, but um, just thinking now, if I, you know, could have got 20 bucks a pop for those, I would have done very, very well. But, oh well. Um, okay, so those are kind of the middle of the road books I found. I'm gonna take a little breather from that. I feel like I always wind up buying 
I don't want to say stuff I don't care about because to me, there's kind of two avenues to comic book hunting. Like sometimes I buy things just for fun because I enjoy it. And then sometimes I buy stuff that I actually really like to collect. And I want to say I have a much harder time finding books that I actually really like to collect versus um, just buying for enjoyment purposes. But I was also able to find some stuff that I do collect at the shop. So I was very happy about that. Um, I found some spawn newsstands and some fillers for some mini series I'm working on favorite character as you all know and so I'm always happy when I can do some work on this the spawn 62 I really should know I, I believe I want to say that there's like an Angela origin story in here I could be drastically wrong on that um, I'm actually trying to read spawn one through the current issue right now and I'm not up to this one yet which is kind of sad but um I feel like I should know the significance of it, and I don't, but uh, this is a newsstand. This book is a little bit harder to find if you collect Spawn. It really doesn't go for anything, but um, I was happy to come across it. And number 10, one of the worst Spawn covers, a uh, newsstand though, and then uh, 74. Very, very cool cover, uh, all black spine, and in definitely decent enough shape. Got a nice newsstand there. Spawn 68 newsstand. Now, I have to do a little bit more research on this, but I believe, at least I've seen a photo of a certain spawn issues where like one of them will say newsstand and then the other will just have a barcode. So just something interesting to look out for. Um, I would have to do some more research, but like I said. Curse of Spawn 10 newsstand. I thought these Curse of Spawn newsstands would be worth more, um, but they're really not actually sought after at all, surprisingly. Uh, number eight newsstand. I really, really like that cover a lot. And number 20 newsstand. And then these uh, Spawn mini series. He gave these to me for like a buck a pop, which was really cool of them. Curse of Spawn number one. Um, first appearance of some character as Spawn. I forget the guy's name. Uh, Curse of Spawn number two. Great covers on these. Number three. And if you want to fast forward, because you just care about keys, go right ahead. But I kind of like to show what I actually collect and what I actually buy versus just what I know people are interested in. Because uh, I don't feel like collecting stuff just because you enjoy it really gets enough attention. But, yeah, I really like that Angela cover on number nine. Very cool. Another really cool Angela cover, number 11. Uh, 13, 17, and just some random issues. Uh, Wildcats 1. Wildcats 2 and Book of Souls. This is like a encyclopedia or whatever for Spawn. But I was really happy to get those because I didn't have those and um, definitely needed them. So, all right, we're winding this down um, 20 minutes in. Um, we got some good ones here. Some really, really good ones. Uh, this one, not as crazy, but TMNT number seven. This is the origin of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was real happy to come across this. Um, I, I really, 
I regret not buying some TMNT books I've come across in the past couple months, but I'm going to be happy with what I do have. And I purchased this for, I think it was $10. And I want to say it can go for around $30. I think any early TMNT, if it's a first print and you found it cheap enough, buy it honestly at this point because all that stuff is just going nuclear right now but really really happy to come across this um i'm glad i have like some semblance of tmnt early issues um so yeah happy to pick that up this was the first book i found there and uh, when i saw this i'm like you know what if I just found this and I can get it cheap, it'll be worth it. Lockjaw and the Pet Avengers number one. I believe this is a one in 10 or a one in 15 variant. First appearance of Throg, the Thor Frog. This book is, I believe, very difficult to find. And on the high end, this book can sell for about $75 and I paid like cover price for it. So um, super, super happy about that. And I don't know, cool character. Like just, I don't know, there's something different. And I believe even the regular issue of this goes for a little bit. So I'm really happy to pick up the variant and especially get it for, I think I paid four for it. Real, real excited about that. Not much else to say on the book. I believe there was some interest with Donny Cates potentially writing the character. I don't even know that I've ever read a Donny Cates book, to be quite honest with you, but um, he seems to have quite the influence. Another book that really blew up. I'm like about 90% sure I don't own this book. TMNT Adventures number one. Uh, now this is a really, really high grade copy and I can guarantee you it is a one owner copy. Cause um, yeah, this thing was, this thing is nice. Super nice. If I sent this in, I bet you I'd get a 9.6. I bet you I'd get a 9.6. I should have looked up what that's going for before I did this haul. I would say this is around a $100 book. The first appearance of Krang, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Should have been worth way more to begin with. Got it for $10. So got another real, real nice stealth buy. And again, I regret passing up some TMNT books, but I'm happy with what I do have. And these are two great ads. So very happy about that. And this last book, without a doubt, without a doubt, made this trip completely worth it. If all of these other awesome books were not good enough, you're going to get really mad. Really, really mad. Because remember when I said that this stuff has books that have really heated up and people don't go to this shop. I found this book, when I found this book and I saw this and I saw the price tag, I just, oh my gosh. Let's just show it. Star Wars, Jedi Mace Windu. First appearance of, I'm gonna, destroy this character's name, Asajj Ventress. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong. I guess a popular Star Wars character. Um, I'm not the Star Wars guy, but for whatever reason, I really wanted this book. I don't know why. I don't know if you ever just seen a book that's gotten popular and just really, really wanted it. That was me with this book. Like, I just, I thought it was cool. I like the cover and just, I don't know. I just thought it was really, really cool. I had no hopes of finding it. $4. Found this for $4. 
And now when I found this, when I found it, I think this was going for around 150. I just looked it up. This book has on the high end gone for around $200. So on the high end, got $200 book, $4. Got myself a real, real nice stealth buy here. Real nice stealth buy. And this thing is in nice near mint condition. Um, not a newsstand, I could care less, but for $4, I am thrilled to have this. And with all the craziness with Star Wars going on, um, I hate to say this, but it could go up. Um, is this the second most expensive? Sorry, I bumped this. The second most expensive modern Star Wars book? Besides, like, you know, a newsstand or something like that or whatever. Um, is it? Leave me a comment. It's definitely top five, if not top three. So, I'm super, super excited to come across this. And that is everything I picked up at this shop. I had an awesome, awesome time. Um, really like kind of showing a little bit more of the backstory behind what I picked up. Um, I know I wasn't able to film like a vlog or anything, but I feel like I at least gave you guys um, a decent idea of the area I was in. And I really enjoy going to shops that are out in the middle of nowhere. I just, I think it's fun to me. I like the whole experience behind it. And it's just neat going to shops where, um, that are real hidden throughout the country and just, you know, seeing what's still out there and you know, you use your knowledge and skills to dig stuff out of there and then just kind of hang out, get a bite to eat and enjoy yourself. But yeah, so I spent, what like 12 bucks here for or um somewhere in that realm for um how much uh let's say so 200 uh let's 125 so on the high end on the high end 400 dollars worth of books for 11 12 dollars I would say I did pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I still got it, don't worry. So I'll see you guys next time.